<laughs> Allow them to air dry for a bit. Oh. How you doing, YouTube? Hey. We're coming for, to you from uh, mostly indoors. Oh, at your house? At, at my place, yeah. yeah. We're an outdoor guys. We're, we wanted to do something different, something yeah. unique. Well, we, we're going to film a uh, a smoking video. We're going to smoke some trout. I'm gonna smoke some trout. Well, yeah, I'm gonna teach Danny how to how to cook some what. He's only used to boiling eggs, and he don't do a very good job at that compared, according to what I seen down there. They were back. in the quad, shocked to death. Disgusting. And he had to. It just looked a little bit weird. Tastes good though. Anyway, I, I, I want to thank uh, Shannon Rogers for the trout. He dropped them off here. You couldn't catch your own trout. We're going to. But oh, thanks, for the season. thanks for the trout and uh, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get ready now, fill up those trout, we'll film that and... Uh, you're doing all the filling. I thought you were going to. Um, no, I can't do it. I'm two, most, minute, two minutes ago you were I, I mostly, for, If we're mostly in order, I'm mostly in the kitchen. I can make craft dinner. So we're going to get that ready, set up and... Uh, You'll see the next part. We're gonna felt some trout. And you are. I'm gonna felt some trout. I know what you're gonna cook it all too. <laughs> Danny's gotta do something. We're not sure. Well, I can move. What you can do? I'll just move the camera around. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks again for subscribing. I think we hit 100 subscribers. Yeah, 100 subscribers. Thank you very much. In three weeks. Yeah. So we're pretty excited yeah. about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, catch us on all of our other social media. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok, Twitter. Once uh, uh, Danny gets that fixed, I can't. Uh, anyway, I that's a whole right. other story. And uh, thanks for watching. All right. So uh, before we fill it, though, I, I didn't even think about it. Uh, we need to sharpen the knife because. Uh, but uh, we're gonna sharpen our filleting knife. It's actually a Ooh, bowling knife. It's a good knife. And um, from Germany. Because having a uh, doll knife is actually dangerous if you're filling. You want it as sharp as possible. And that's the only way we can share it with me anyway. Yep. Just with this thing. So Danny's standing right in the way. Well, we, what do you want me to do? Stand on the freaking counter. So uh, this sharpener is actually pretty good. It's an electric sharpener. But it act, it has guides so it's hard to mess it up. And we're just going to run the knife through a couple of times. Just to make sure I got a knife. We gotta film you doing something. Well, I don't know. And me training you to do something. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna fill up the fish now. Oh. So the way I, I normally do this is I like to cut down beside the gear line, and then what you do then is you find the sound bone, yeah. and you follow the, or the backbone, the backbone of the fish, sound bone, and you follow the sound bone all the way through. Feel on the edges so that you get it right down to the bone and get the maximum amount of meat off the fish. So I can feel the same bone there. Doing a good job. And then I just hold it and then you follow the same bone all the way down. Like so. And then just finish off. Down the red line, like so. No bones. Watch your fingers. I'll hold on to it because the. Uh, one fellow. Do the same thing on this side. You can kind of feel it. Yeah, I almost felt it. You can you can feel the edge. So if you look here, 
You can see the back the backbone of the fish runs all the way down through. We're trying to get as much meat off of that as possible. And that's pretty much it. Now we got very little bones. There might be some pin bones some and bones stuff. Are. But we're going to try to clean that up as best we can. But uh, we're continuously washing our hands. I'm going to move these off so Danny can fi uh, fill up Man, the next I, fish. I, I can no fingers. Danny's missing a finger. He uses it as an iron to get. Hello, Tommy! Alright, this guy is going to... <laughs> so, I don't have a clue what I'm doing, but Tony wants me to fill the fish. Well, I fill a little bit, but not in this freaking tiny. Okay. Zoom in. I know it's a bit different, Tony. I don't know what Tony starts over here or something, but it does. Ear the bones? Your knife here is, uh, we'll go on and freaking. <laughs> That's how he lost his finger. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, got a finger gun. By Philton. Philton fish with X. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I can excuse to take it. Let's fit. Oh, jeez! Yes. Oh my God. Tor it's hard to hold on by. <laughs> oh, it's mangled. Oh my God. Shoggy, you see? It's mangled. <laughs> it's it's, it's mangled. I got mangled. <laughs> oh my God. You're gonna smoke the, the sandbowl. I told you that. Let me do it. I can't. Your you knife here is huge. Is it been? No bother. <sighs> Look at the meat left behind. It is fault. Hello. So I'm just going to clean up the mess Danny made. I actually stand inside. Look. <laughs> Injury. Injured. Injured. Your knife is not on. I'm just cleaning the trout up, like taking the, the thin edges off because in the it smoker, is. if you leave it thin, It'll dry out and it won't be very good. Well, you're removing the, the so, fin bones. Yeah, and I'm removing the fin bones, cleaning the fish up just for presentation, and uh, so it looks better when it went. Yeah. So, what, when we're smoking foods, um, especially fish or any meat, really, a lot of a lot of times, like the flesh of the food gets stuck to the to the grill or to the grate. So what I do, like to do is spray some avocado oil, chosen foods. Yeah, this is the best because they haven't got no propellant. You do that, right? And, uh, yep. Yeah. And you just spray it down, just so the fish don't stick to it. And when we're done the cooking process, it won't be a big deal getting it Cooking. I always, yeah. always clean up, as my wife says. Uh, clean as you go, and I never do. And if you don't, you're going to be killed anyway. Yeah. So, uh... Um, so now, uh, before smoking, we try to brine, well not try, we are going to brine the fish. Yeah. So it gives it a little bit of a better texture, better taste. Just salt and water, right? Salt and water, sugar and... Um, oh, sugar, dude. A little oh. bit of sugar, yeah. And uh, I put in some, um, like this is so with sizzle seasoning, so I like using that just to give it... Um, Say it nine times. So with sizzle seasoning. <laughs> Say that five times. <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore. I got it right once. So I, I, I put this in it just to give it a little bit of a, you know, like a Cajun taste. I like that better. A little bit of kick. The mixture here is one liter of water. Let's pour it in. That we already added to the bowl. And then what I do, because salt, different sizes of salt, like right now I'm using sea salt, salt de mer. And is that um, salt de mer? Is the, is different sizes of the salt. What's the brand on? Salt de mer? Yeah, there's salt de fleur, salt de mer, well, never and they're all different different types. Yeah. So what I like to do anyway, because salt can come in different sizes and you want to keep the same consistency, so one liter of water, 
to 100 grams of salt. And that's a, they call it a 10% brine mixture. Holy, is that, isn't that a lot? No, seven is normal. If, if you're going to brine something for more than one day or whatever, uh, you want to keep it a little bit lower, like if you're brining a turkey or something like that. Or oh, so this is not going to go through it. So, be... Yeah, so the fish... Oh, I ask question. Sorry for cutting you off. It's just not going to go through it. Like, uh, like it's not going to go through to me. It's just going to be more on the surface of that. Yeah, well, it, it does go into the fish, no, too. How long you say you're going to keep it there? 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah, well, it's not long enough for it to go No. Over. But that's why we use, like, 10%. Because so, it's fast. How do you know what it's 10%? Because I looked at it on there. Okay. I learned. Oh my god, I don't have a stroke. So we're going to eat this or we're going to preserve it till No, nope, so time. that gets added in. What? What? Uh oh, you can't go back in time. Oh shoot, yeah, we'll do, matter. we'll do it for sugar. Yeah. Alright, so for the sugar, it's 50, I use 50 grams because I don't want a lot of sugar. I don't want uh, to uh, we're gonna eat this. We're on keto. Yeah, yeah. No, this is just for uh it's that, not in the meat, it's just for caramelization. Alright, so uh 50 grams of uh, brown sugar. Oh <laughs> yeah. so, so what <laughs> Get it out of Oh here. thank you. I'll help you. Yeah. There I you got go. an idea. Uh I'm I guess right, I'm your yeah. assistant. So now we're gonna put and this ups the Salt content, a little bit. This is salt, a little bit of salt in it, but not much. How much salt? Uh, We're salt, but you don't look at salt. Oh, that's good. There's no salt. It's just onions, crushed red pepper, garlic, paprika. So what I like to do, I'll get Danny to do this part. <laughs> hey! Since he wants yes. to partake in the video. So one tablespoon of that seasoning. We throw that in the brine mixture. There you go. Now he's happy. Now I'm involved. Uh, All right. So what what do you do with that? I Did you it. mix it? Can we have a break? Sorry, no. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. So we I mix it a... to dissolve everything, the salt and the sugar, into the brine. Well, at this point, some people boils it. Why would he boil it? For the for the flavors of the for like more spices, to get it. yeah, to to become more emulsified. emulsified. Oh, now that we got uh, the salt is almost part of the water, then we just throw the fish in there and wait thirty minutes. Is that it? Twenty to thirty minutes. Oh jeez. I knew I was going to get in the video somehow. And they're more vigorously. Sorry, I made a mess. Tree clean up. Yeah, that's good. You know what we should have with this? In between? Some Man. boiled eggs. That's disgusting. So, as you can see, here's our trout fillets. Nice and beautiful, red. We're just going to put this directly into the brine. That's all. Four fillets in. Four fillets. Wait, is it fillets or fillets? Fillets. Or is it... So what's the fillet? Oh, steak. Beef. So you fillet fillet. something or you fillet something? Yeah. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah. Is it, which one is it? Fish is fillet. Steak so you, you is can't fillet. fillet a fish? I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, I think it's a... Uh, fillet mignon? Just, like potato, potato. And I There's no such thing as potato. What some people pronounce it that way? Potato. Or tomato. Oh, tomato. can I have some potatoes? <laughs> it's a potato. <laughs> I don't know. Filet. Yeah. Either you fillet the fish or you fillet the fish. I don't know what difference is. Good question. If you know, leave in the comments. Oh, look at them fillet, fillets, fillets that I did. Tony, yours all right. All right. We're going to have a, a coffee while we're waiting for our fish. We'll mark the time. So it was about 5.30. And at 6 o'clock, we'll be uh, taking them out putting them on the barbecue. Yeah, we'll uh, so, uh, I have a coffee machine. What's well, the best coffee ever? And um, 
It's the Lange uh, espresso machine, but I use it to make coffee, mm -hmm. Americano coffee, or espresso. Yeah, you put the coffee in there, it goes under pressure, nine bar of pressure, forces the coffee out, and it actually is really good. Oh, really it's amazing. Good so this machine comes with its own uh, grinder, because espresso is uh, kind of a very fine grind. Grinds beans. Oh, as it needs it. And then there's a, a built in tamper Ooh. that has the proper pressure for tamping. And then it comes out tamped and uh, ready to be brewed. And then you put it in this side. And then this is where you select if you want Americano Express or there's actual coffee function, but I like Americano better. So you hit the OK button. So now we're just waiting for that water to go in with the coffee. And uh, have our coffee. Mm -hmm. and you can join right along with us if you want to get your coffee, pause the video, run out, make a coffee, and uh, join us. Oh, I want to talk about my shirts. Yeah. So you see, this one says flat means. Fat, not flat. Uh, sorry, yeah, fat means flavor. And it's from the Sam the Cooking Guy show. I uh, recommend his, pod or his program, podcast, and YouTube videos. I like watching cooking shows. Anyway, the, the video we just released about Gamble, I had another shirt on there that said fat. Uh, yeah, it's not word. against fat it's people. Not, it's not nothing about fat people or me being fat, which I know. But um, it's more about fat and foods and enjoying food. and. Well. Anyway, that's where it's from. If you want to go check that channel out, Sam the Cooking Guy on YouTube. It's a good channel. I, I love watching it. And, uh, you know. Give them a like or whatever. This is awesome. This is like Danny's coffee. So what you oh. see on top is uh, they call it la cream. This is the cream mm. of the bean. Cream of the crop. And uh, now I gotta put more beans in. Yeah. Oh, we can't wait. Yeah. Can so thanks for joining us. We're just gonna have a coffee. <coughs> Show them your mug. Nice Show them mug. mug. And Alex gave to me my daughter for Father's yeah. Day one year. Nice outdoors cabin. Mm. We gotta get mugs. And uh, I want to talk to you too. So Danny's, uh, what would you call that? Uh, your hobby? Danny's hobby. No, is, no, it's not really. This is a painting Danny made. You can see DH there. That's Danny on. I don't know if I should say your last name. Altar. <laughs> anyway, it's a painting Danny gave me probably two years ago. What about last year? Whatever, last year. But uh, we hang it there. Uh, I like it. I love it actually. Oh, yeah, I don't like going. And I don't want to be framed though. I don't have a frame. I was gonna get a frame. No, I You're in, you're in right in the way of it. Mm. There you go. So there you can see it. Actually I might I might actually move the camera up so you can get a good, real good look at it. Dad, you're not supposed to look the paintings too close to me. There's a to There. So that's the painting he done, some mountains, trees, wilderness uh landscape. It's beautiful. I love yeah, it. I don't like it. I like the shading, I like the colours. No. And uh, again, the colors. It's yeah. two colors. Yeah. It's, and they're actually not any colors, they're shades. Yeah. I love it. No, I like it. No. Actually, I just freaking uh, started painting for a couple months. Well, from school, and then I started painting a couple years ago for a couple months. And then I started painting again for a couple months, and that was it. Never painted last year. Probably not even start no more. But they're beautiful. And he does do good work, and it's, I like it. Well, a bit better than my fillet, fillet. Much better than his fillet. Flame. I'm not saying flame. Not flame. Flame. I don't like that when I say flame. No, that's Martin, is that French? I don't know. Filet? Filet mignon. Filet mignon. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. Oh, I'm just freaking it So we only got 10 minutes left, and then uh, we're going to get the barbecue going. Actually, we should get that going now, so it's up to temperature. Uh, so after the brining process is done, what we do is we take the fish out, we let it sit on a rack, let it let the air dry it, so you get that, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it gets sticky on top, and then I add a little bit of pepper to it. Normally what I would, what I do is put a fan on it, it helps speed that process up a little bit. I'm getting confused here. So that's the next How do you step. know about all this stuff, like cooking like this stuff? Yeah. Easy chef. I learn. I, I like watching cooking videos. Videos. I like watching smoke. Different people smoking stuff. There's lots of YouTube. Yeah, just smoking stuff that could be in there. Oh yeah, food. Smoking food. Not food. 
Food. Food. Food. What? Are you present? Food. Food. He says food. Food. Yes. Quicker. If you need. What? Is there a ring worm? <laughs> oh, put close caption on. You'll understand. Yeah, just this form. Yeah, and you'll never understand one. I don't know what he's saying either. <laughs> Brine off, because it would be a little bit too salty. So what Danny's doing there now, we're going to wash them out in some spring water. We wouldn't wash them too much, uh, so just rinse it in. Yep, just rinse it off. Just make sure there's nothing left on it. So after the rinse, you want to dry the trout off as much as possible. Participation. Look sure Danny's actually doing something. Yeah, other than ball eggs. You're going to use that other paper towel now to pat them dry and squeeze it a little bit because you want to get all the water out. There. Now, next so next step. Uh -huh, next uh -huh. step is to lay out the fish on the grate. All right. So we got the fish laid out on the grate now. This is so allowing the air dry for a bit. <clears throat> and then uh, they'll get that patina on them or whatever it's called. Patina. I don't think it's, I don't think it's patina. Patina is what happens to brass and copper, but it's like so, a uh, two jobs in one step. day. Two freaking jobs. Well, you did three. You mix. Oh. You mix the brine. <laughs> So we're just gonna put a little bit of cracked pepper on the And you can see the pepper there on the top, that's perfect. So yeah. our, uh, we got the smoker going, our GMG, so it's Green Mountain Grill. Yep. Uh, Check them out. Peak Prime, Green Mountain Grill. Where do you buy this one too? That was in Kabul and St. John's Newfoundland. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put the fish on and uh, start smoking. So I just got the temperature set at 150, and that's for the first hour to allow the smoke really to start adhering to the fish to get that flavor and then uh, well, we want to wait till about 160 internal temperature and then uh, we'll boost up the temperature to about 220 and then um, cook it the rest of the time till we at 160. Right on after that. Take, it'll take about two and a half hours. So yep. we're just going to put it on now and just going to put it on the top right getting some of the smoke. You can see the smoke inside a little bit right now and it's going to start uh, start the smoking process. There we go. Yep. And we're just uh just put it on maybe ten minutes ago. I just want to make sure everything's going good. You can see the smoke coming out of the smoker. Smoke it. Rise it up a bit. I don't want to let all the smoke oh, out. No. And we'll let it sit. Welcome back. We're just sitting there waiting for uh having the green tea. Having the green tea, waiting for our smoke. Smoker to smoke the trip. And Danny's, our next video is going to be uh, the outdoor guy's version of that one. Yeah, it's a stupid idea. <laughs> and Danny's nervous, so we figured we'd try one of them. I, he just wanted to see what it was all about. Yeah, Widowmaker. Widowmaker, number nine. And uh, I think it was like eight, nine hundred nope. and something thousand school Tell him we tried. And, and we one. just tried uh, last day. Mm. And that one wouldn't have been. It's bad. But bad, but not really. It's, you got me scared. All right, we're gonna try it. I don't want to try it. Cheers. Oh uh, my, 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 Cheers. my, my. Don't taste bad. I'm not worried about taste. It don't taste bad. It actually tastes half decent. Mm, it's it's slow, hot. It's slowly building up, right? It's building up. It's got like a mm. yeah, delayed, <laughs> delayed release. Mm. And my uh, mouth's on fire. It's getting hotter. <clears throat> I, might have, I might have a tolerance to this. Freaking deal. Warning. Extreme. Extreme. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, look forward to that video. Yeah, I'm not. On Saturday. No, I don't. Danny's stressing out about it. Who's up with it? His brother. Mark. Thanks a lot, Mark. Anyway, we'll get back to the smoking video. 
Oh. Yep. All right. So it's been about an hour and a half, two hours since we put the trout on the smoke. And Ooh. Starting to look real good. So we're at 130-ish. Boy, it's gonna be at one. And I'm going to crank oh. the temperature up a bit. We're going to check it again in another half hour. Let's see how much closer we are. But we're a little bit away. We're at about 130. We need to be 160. But sometimes it don't take long to reach that mm. cook temperature. And All, right. All right, we're going to go check the fish again. It should be real close to uh, being uh, the perfect temperature. Try not. They're all good. So now we're going to take it out. Then we're going to do a taste test. Smoke trout. Looks amazing. All right, we're gonna try it out. So this will be. Now line the steak. Total time. What time was it when we brined it? It was like 5:30. It's now 9:30, 9:43. So total time probably about four or five hours. Like from right from filleting to a finished product. I know what else on Philip I did. Whack it. <laughs> well, we're going to eat the fruits of our labor now. And, uh, oh, thanks again to Shannon Rogers for supplying the trout. Yep. We'll have our own soon. Mmm, delish. Not too salty. Mmm. Not Holy crap! Sweaty. Just right. I think. You think? Mmm. Give us your honest opinion. I wouldn't. Mmm. That's unbelievable. It's not like trout. It's like a mm. kipper. Well, mm. not kipper. Well, like smoked trout. Yeah, smoked trout will taste like a mm. like a smoked earring, but with a little bit of trout taste. Mm. <laughs> yeah, delicious. Mm. That's different. Holy crap! It's amazing. After. Amazing. Mmm. Yeah. Keeps coming at you. Mm. Just like that Amazing. hot sauce. Ooh. Yeah, so this is what I would call um, Southwest Cajun not pepper. Too, not too strong on that level, but it's still no, there. It's there. You can it's, just, it's, not, it's not hot. No, it's, it's not hot. salty. It's not. It's just, just the right amount of uh, smoke. So anyway, if you like the recipe, we'll write it up and we'll put it in the description below. Try this. That's a. Uh, I think it was brown trout, and this is speckled. Is that the best trout you ever taste? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't even say it's trout. Like it's like. No. Do what you do. But the initial, it's not like trout, and you taste the trout. Yeah, mm. true. It's... <laughs> Holy crap, man! That's the best. That's the best I ever taste. Anyway, I'm Tony. This is Danny, and we're the outdoor guys. Come back, check us out. Maybe I could have told him this is Danny. So, <laughs> This is Trey, for sure all. Trey. Say hi, babe. There you go. My this is my name. sweetheart. As Rob old conscience would say, my sweet pea. Sure all. Turn around and say hello. I only got the bag of red. That's Danny's wife. Danny's sweet pea. His sweetheart. Can you say that? No, I don't talk away. <laughs> He's too busy eating. <laughs> hey, YouTube. Hey. Thanks for watching the latest episode of The Outdoor Guys. Uh, mostly indoors. Well, uh, because of the weather today. That's the only reason. Mostly indoors. We uh, appreciate you guys watching our videos. If you want to watch more, if you're enjoying the videos, please click the links here, up there, or over there. And uh, thank you for your support. Enjoy the videos. We'll see you later.